Hey, what's going on guys? Black Magic here and thanks for checking out my very first video on my favorite class setups in Call of Duty Ghosts. Now please try to keep in mind that this list will probably end up changing because within most of Call of Duty games they do put out patches every once in a while and within those patches they do end up nerfing some of these guns. When that happens, I do plan on making a new video to cover any changes in my setups. That way it might end up helping some of you guys out that might be looking for a class to build around a particular gun. Now with that said, let's go ahead and get started with the first class. Now some of you guys might remember I mentioned in a previous video that I didn't really believe that SMGs would be a big help to people in this game, but I took some time and put together a pretty decent class with the Vector CRB. Now for the attachments I'm using a foregrip for better stability and that's pretty much all I've needed so far. I've tested this out with a red dot and a few of the other uh, barrel types in the game, but I didn't really notice a big difference while I was playing in multiplayer, so I decided to keep it simple and just go for the stability aspect. I did end up spending a couple of squad points on the extended mags for fewer reloads, but the gun comes standard with 32 rounds per clip, which should be enough to get at least 2-3 to three kills before having to reload. Now you'll probably notice that in all my classes I never use a secondary and I very rarely use a lethal and a tactical. I've decided instead to use those points on perks that I'll get more value out of rather than a pistol or a flashbang that I'll hardly ever use. So in this class I'm using a total of 6 perks. Red up, that way I can aim down the sights quicker after sprinting, sleight of hand for faster reloading in those frantic situations, stalker to move quickly while aiming down the sights so I can strafe around if I have to, scavenger to resupply ammo, that way if I'm on a kill streak I can keep it up without having to pick up another gun, resilient so I take no damage from falling which helps me from being dumb and accidentally leaping to my death, and finally ICU so that I can regenerate my health faster so that I spend less time taking cover and more time getting getting back at the person that just tried to kill me. Overall, my Vector CRB class has done pretty well and I've had slightly over a 2KD with this setup so far. Now I can't really say that it'll work in all game modes or on all maps because there does come a point where this gun will reach its limits in long range gunfights, but it is really effective in short to mid range. Now finally, my score streaks I'm using are the Guard Dog, Sentry Gun, and the Assault Helicopter, and this is another thing that you'll probably see in almost all of my classes. The Guard Dog helps with finding nearby enemies that have killed me and normally gets me that kill after I've died. The Sentry Gun is just a good way to protect an objective if I'm playing a game mode like Blitz or Domination, and the Assault Chopper does its part by taking out enemies as well. Anyways guys, that's just going to about do it for today's video on my Vector CRB class setup. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have liked the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the Vector CRB class setup that I've showed to you guys today. Also, share with me some of your favorite Vector CRB class setups. You guys can follow me at Twitter at Blackmagic. You can also find me at Steam. My Steam ID is also going to be Blackmagic. Both of those are going to be spelled backwards, as you probably already know. If you have not done so already, please do take a second and click that subscribe button. That way you're kept up to date on all my latest Call of Duty Ghosts and Battlefield 4 videos, and I will catch you guys in the next one.